Hello. So, if you look in the video feed for today, it's November 7th, 2015. You'll see that my Shema and Via Hafta video is three times longer than normal. It's because I recorded it three times in a row. I recorded it in preparation for a meditation ritual, which I'm going to describe to you in this video. This video is also a preparation for a meditation ritual. I've been feeling pretty stressed out in the last few weeks, and so I decided to spend my morning doing this. So there's a few things that I'm going to point out to you and then I'm going to turn the camera off and spend a long time quiet and alone. So the first thing is, look at this shot. This is my bedroom. It's not terribly spectacular, spectacular, but I hope you would notice the symmetry that's set up and the candles that I've lit. I live in a very small bedroom, and I've realized this morning as I was setting things up that I've transformed my bed into a kind of altar, which is kind of strange when you think about it. I'm going to duck down so you can see it in the dark. So, I thought I would take a moment to talk about the word sacred and the idea of altars. Um, I'm not going to try to define sacred, because I think it's, as a concept, it's something that's only implied. It can never actually be pointed to. That's one of the points about sacred, is that you can't actually define what it is. You can only suggest towards it. So I'm going to suggest towards what I think sacred is by the idea of altars. So, the ancient Israelites, those patriarchal warriors, nomadic warriors, when they invaded their land and founded a city, in the center of that city there was a temple. And that temple was the center of the city, like literally, geographically, um, but also philosophically, socially, culturally. So what does it mean to have, have a sacred place in the center of everything, in the center of your home? You know, this room, at the moment, this is my center. This is the one place in the world that is really mine. To the extent that any place is really mine, this place is not really mine. But, um... Sometimes I think it might be. Or I hope it might be. So... To take a place that is at your center and display it as such, to surround it in rings, Bring in light. This video is not supposed to have a point. I have no thesis here. I'm just explaining to you what I'm doing. Because this practice is important to me. And I want to share it with you. So, one other thing to note. I'm not wearing any clothes. So I'm just going to stay in this one frame. I'm not wearing any clothes. I'm in a very tiny, warm, symmetrical room filled with candlelight. And I'm going to spend my morning here.
Goodbye. Thanks for joining me. I'll talk to you later. Have a nice day.